Hello everybody. It's been a while. Uh, I'm going to do a little flight sim here today. I have recently started playing around with uh, with VATSIM, which is a live air traffic control. Uh, if you've been around flight sim a bit, you probably have heard of it. Um, I haven't used it until the last couple of weeks and decided that uh, I wanted to check it out. So I've been doing some flights, done some VR stuff with it, or uh, not VR, IFR stuff with it, um, instrument flight. This is the first time I've kind of taken on a uh, uh, VFR flight with kind of no flight plan. So what we're going to do is, this would be the way that I used to do most of my local flights. You know, you just get on the horn, tell them where you're going, get on your way. Um, it's really pretty easy. Uh, for those of you who haven't used uh, VATSIM want to check it out, I want to do this as sort of just a familiarization real simple so that you'll see that it's not that intimidating you do need to kind of have some idea how uh, airspace works you need to have some idea how to talk on the radio so you know, might want to just log in and listen for a while if you set up an account um, as long as you're not flying and you don't turn your transponder on or anything you know you can sit there as long as you want just listen to the radio just like real life though you'll have to dial the radios in the airplane to the appropriate frequencies and uh, doesn't use auto tuning or any of that stuff that you would find when you're going through the default Microsoft uh, settings or the yeah you know what I mean. Anyways, um, I wanted to show you the chart here before we get started. Um, v pilot screen out of the way here. You don't need that. Um, okay, so what we're looking here in the center is uh, Van Nuys Airport. I thought this was capturing. There's my cursor. Okay. So in the center here is Van Nuys Airport, and that's where we are. Um, the magenta colored line running off this way is just pointing towards Santa Barbara, which is where we're going. Um, not really going to be our exact flight path. I'm just going to kind of follow the highway, which is pretty typical uh, for people doing this flight. Van Nuys uh, normally is an airport with its own tower. So normally you, they have ground control here and they have uh, a tower. And so the normal sequence of things would be that you'd call up tower and then uh, at the end of the, you know, after you got your clearance, or call up ground rather, and after you got your clearance uh, over to the runway, they'd hand you over to tower, you'd take off. Um, tower will hand you off to Los Angeles uh, approach, and then they usually manage your flight um, for a good deal of the way. You actually go through um, Point Magoo for a while and then you end up getting into Santa Barbara's control area. And the reason I'm telling you all this this is kind of a complicated little section of airspace, uh, as you could probably see by all the little lines and dots. Uh, we are north of Los Angeles, which is down here, uh, about 10 miles, and uh, Burbank Airport's right here. So the the way the Van Nuys air, airspace works is they basically have a five mile radius uh, around the airport, but it is contained underneath the shelf of the uh, what we call Charlie airspace, which belongs to um, Burbank. So just very quickly through airspace, um, don't want to bore you, going from the most, the most congested would be the Bravo airspace, which is like around Los Angeles. It's these darker blue lines indicate where it's at, and these markings tell you the different altitudes. Uh, I'm not going to give you a chart reading class, so if you want to learn about that, it's all out there to be had. This is Sky Vector, by the way, that I'm using to do the chart. Um, so this center bit of Burbank's airspace goes all the way down to the ground and up to 4,800 feet. That's what this, these indicators here are. That ends at this magenta line. And beyond that, which is where Van, Van Nuys is, you can see here there's the marking in magenta that tells you the floor of their airspace starts from 3,000 feet. Uh, that's above sea level. Um, and goes up and continues the rest of the way up to 4,800 feet. So when you take off out of Van Nuys, Van Nuys needs you to stay below 3,000 feet until you are clear of uh, Burbank's airspace. With a Charlie airspace uh, like Burbank is, next one down from a Bravo, a little less congested, uh, you only need to be in contact with one of their controllers uh, to enter their airspace. They'll give you a squawk code. You, actually, you need the squawk code, you need the radio, you know, if you want to be specific, and you need to be in contact with them. Um, it doesn't require a specific clearance, but you do need to be speaking to their controllers. So when we take off out of Van Nuys, we're not. And you can't just bop right into their uh, airspace. This is different from the Bravo down around Los Angeles down here where you need to actually get a clearance specifically to enter if you're a VFR aircraft. So 
Van Nuys is a little Delta uh, airspace under here, and Delta is just uh, a towered airport, you know, and they typically have a pretty small control area. You would call them, you know, a couple minutes before you're getting into their area and let them know you're coming, and, uh, and that's about all you need to do. Anyhow, <clears throat> just so that was just a quick briefing, give you some idea what some of these lines are here. Once we get beyond uh, the outer ring of Burbank, we'll go up to probably 4,500 feet and do our flight at that altitude. And the rest of the way out, we don't really go through anybody's specific airspace. You can see the dotted lines here. These are the Delta airspace around Camarillo Airport and Oxnard, so we won't really be, we'll actually be over their, uh, their airspace anyways, but we'll be crossing outside of that. And then uh, we'll need to give Santa Barbara a call when we get there because they, like Burbank, are a Charlie-class airspace, so we have to be talking to them uh, before we enter that airspace. And here, if you wanted to avoid the outer shelf, you'd need to be below 1,500 feet, which we're not really, we're going to be kind of, in, in reality, just north of the freeway here when we come in, and uh, we won't really be talking with them a great deal. We'll let them know we're coming, but they're not going to really care about us till we get into here. That's basically how it's going to go. Um, that was the quick primer on that. Now just a real quick thing about how um, uh, VATSIM works. So in VATSIM, uh, you have this software that actually deals with reporting to VATSIM where it is you are. And um, you can see on the left-hand side there, it tells you which frequencies are actually online. So they don't have enough people to cover every single airport, you know, in the world. So typically the busiest airports have the coverage. Today we're lucky we have uh, <clears throat> SoCal Approach up here on 124.5. So we'll be calling them because there's nobody working Van Nuys Tower or Van Nuys Ground today. So the way VATSIM works is you, the, the lowest controller that has control over the airspace you're flying in is your initial contact. Once we get out of uh, the LA approach area, they'll hand us off to the Los Angeles center controller who will be playing the role of uh, LA approach, Magoo approach, and um, Santa Barbara when we get out there. So we'll, we'll be dealing with that controller for the rest of the flight. And he's going to be pretty busy because he's dealing with uh, all of the airspace in kind of the whole southwestern part of California, uh, into Nevada, and a lot of Arizona as well. So that guy's, that's a busy dude, and it'll make it feel a little bit more like it actually feels when you're talking to uh, approach in the real world where there's a lot more aircraft. Uh, give me two seconds here, and we will get on our way. Uh, just got a text I want to have a look at real quick. <laughs> kind of sucks, but it happened. Anyways, give me just a second. Okay. Connected back to that. That correct airplane here. Yoke's taking up all my space. Okay, again, we're going to go real quick through this because I don't feel like checklist. Break on there. Beacon. Abs. Don't need strobes yet. Till after we've got it started, make sure it's throttle idle. Prime it. Fuel selectors both. Okay, this time. Hey! Alright. Get our Onyx turned on. Pump off. Set. Okay, so let's see. I was familiar with the radios on this one. Come to one two four point five. I don't like these fancy new panels. I just like regular old radios. Five. Switch that in. You see. And 
COM2 on 125.8. Loud and clear. Atlanta um, I'm here at Los Angeles. I don't have a flight to file just yet. I was wondering, I don't have the summer two departure to Honolulu. Uh, is there any other departure I could do? Jan 3245, um, stand by. American 9741, heavy, one zero miles from Giana, flight heading 220, maintain 2100 till established on the localizer, cleared ILS 25, left approach. Right to 220, down to 2100 until established on the ILS for 25 left, American 9741. Yeah, I can't shut that off. 45, verify your, uh, you have the runway 25 left selected for departure. The summer 2 is about 8 years old. If you don't have... All right, both of those work. Okay, so what we say? 124.8... Two four point five is our departure and one two four point. Uh, Golf Tango India Giant thirty two forty five affirmative. Oh, I made a goof here. Um. Okay. I, then I don't know. I don't have that. Uh, I could get vector to the. Uh, I don't know. Is it possible I could do my first one two five point eight. Okay, so yeah, all that's right. Boy, this. Uh, thirty two forty five of the negative. I will work on something for you. Okay, I'll stand uh, giant, um, Giant, Alaska, this 245. Southwest 635, your air contact, say altitude. Uh, climb 2.5 for 5,000, Southwest 65. So, uh, yes, it is, Ag. Altitude checks, climb via Lady J for departure. Climb by Lady J for departure, Southwest 65. American 9741 Heavy, runway 25 left, clear to land. Clear to land, 25 left, American 9741 heavy. Back Valley 7263. Ooh, they're busy. Yes, sir, I was waiting for traffic. Yes, we're in the airport site. Back Valley 7263, clear visual approach, runway 8 right, runway 8 right, clear to land. Clear visual 8 right, clear to land 8 right. Back Valley 7263. American 861, number 2, follow heavy Boeing 787, 10 mile final, runway 25 left, clear to land, caution, lake turbulence. Runway 25 left, clear to land, American 861, following track. Los Angeles approach, Skyhawk, 734 Delta Bravo on the ground at Van Nuys, uh, VFR to Santa Barbara at 4500. Um, November 734 Delta Bravo, SoCal departure, would you like flight following? For Delta Bravo, yes, flight following, sorry about that, thank you. Number 4 Delta Bravo, runway 16 left, taxi via Bravo. I'll have a squawk code for you shortly. Taxi 16 left via Bravo, 4 Delta Bravo. Whew, okay. Number 4 Delta Bravo for flight following, squawk 4614. Four. Squawk 4614 for 4 Delta Bravo. Southwest 635, climb maintain 1 3000. 1-3000, Southwest 635. So 635, contact. Let's see if I can figure out how to use a transponder in this thing here. Okay, where is it? 1-3500, Southwest 635, thank you for your service. Okay, and he said uh, 4614. 614, Norm Local approach, November normally November. real life you would leave it. I'm going to turn their uh, audio down a little bit. Okay, so normally you would uh, you would leave it on leave that transponder on standby. This guy's going to die. Navigation, 
Seven Charlie Zulu, five flight plan. Air Zero Seven Charlie Zulu, you can expect you to You go flight calling. What's your position? Turning my strobes on here and landing lights. Everything else in the lights is good. Cross two five right on Lima and then Lima Charlie or Lima Charlie Kilo for ninety seven forty one. Delta forty two zero eight wind two seven zero one one gust one seven Arnav Delray runway two four left clear for takeoff. Arnav Delray two four left clear for takeoff Delta forty two eight. So kind of the party just what you just said and we are ready for taxi. All right, there's a lot of aircraft talking right now. You got to listen for your call sign. If it's not your call sign, don't respond. And no radio tests. Just call up with your initial initial request on initial call. There's no reason to call for a radio check. Number 704 Tango Zulu, were you calling? This poor guy. <laughs> He's just getting beat up. Oh, hopefully we can get out of here in a second. Okay, it's surprising how much this is like real life, honestly. Guys, I can't even hear him talking, so. Number 5829, you're cleared out of Limburg Class Bravo airspace. Maintain BFR at uh, 2000, squawk 4637. Fortress 829, <laughs> read back correct, runway 27, tanks via Hotel Charlie. Approach Cessna uh, for Delta Bravo, ready to go at 1-6 left at Bravo, uh, hold, and holding short. November 4, Delta Bravo, right crosswind departure approved, runway 1-6 right cleared for takeoff, Van Nuys wind unavailable, Burbank wind 1-4-0 at 1-1. Clear for takeoff, 1-6 left, make right crosswind for Delta Bravo. Fuck out of the party, Delta 427, ready for taxi. So the 4207 or a 25 left taxi via Delta 8 Echo. Uh, taxi via Delta 8 Echo for 24 left. That's what you just said. Okay. And record 420, I haven't given you any instructions yet. Don't read back other airplanes instructions. Aircraft that just departed out of Los Angeles, turn your transponder on. American 420, runway 27, taxi via Bravo. Aladdin 3245 heavy, uh, what is it with going to call my right now? Pack Valley 7263, uh, say so you're parking. Yeah, I will be going by FedEx, uh, Sierra 1. 
All right, we're on our way. We will climb up to about 1,800 feet. And turn him down a little bit. So the Van Nuys approach to Seat on course for Delta Bravo. Thank you. So in normal real life operations, we're required to go up uh, to about a thousand feet before we start the turn. But these guys, you know, they can't know procedures for every single airport, so they use kind of a standardized operating system. So what we're going to do here is uh, fly along the uh, the freeway here, which uh, we'll pick up in a second. It's really going to take us all the way up to Santa Barbara. i zoom out my map for you as soon as things calm down a little bit. Thanks for the host, Agrock. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a 737 here. I don't have anything. All right, Giant. 3245, if you don't have any NAV data, I, I, cannot, I cannot provide you service. That's why I'm heading over to a 737 here. Jet Suite 235, RNAV Docker, ring 25 right clear for takeoff, wind 27011, gust 17. Jet Suite 235, RNAV Docker, clear for takeoff, runway 25 right. Turn right heading one, correction turn right heading 220. Right heading 220. So, the way we do this typically is once we get to Warner Center, which is this, uh, this few high rises that are coming up ahead here, um, at that point I go ahead and climb up to 4500 because you're well clear of that Burbank airspace that I was talking about. Okay, so from here we can go on up to 4500. We don't need a specific clearance from that. So adding a little throttle here. So what we'll do is trim for about a hundred knot climb here. We'll Pretty standard for crews in the Cessnas. Uh, Fortress eight two nine runway two seven taxi via Hotel Shirley. American seven thirty two Sukal approach to send via Angel four arrival at circus cleared ILS two five left approach. I don't like the default Microsoft planes. They're hard to get stabilized into a climb. Well, that's why I like the, the arrow that I was originally going to use. But uh, that one was being temperamental, so we're on this one. American 732 affirmative, ILS 25 left. Uh, that's a little nav map. 
Fancy. I think that's what you're asking me about, right? Yeah, okay. Delta 4207, RNAV Delray, wind 27011, gust 17, runway 24 left, clear for takeoff. Yeah, no problem, man. Thanks for watching. Delray, clear for takeoff, 24 left, gust 1407. Spirit wings 24 kilo, fly heading 070, to set and maintain 3600, vectors IL is 24 right approach. Little nav map's a great program. It can do uh, if you, if you're not familiar with it, it can do flight planning. It can show you all the airspaces. It's uh, it's, it's actually really good. It's uh, lightweight. doesn't doesn't really hurt performance at all. At least not on my machine. November four tango Zulu frequency change approved. Zero four tango Zulu. NASA 207, so I'll approach to send via Lucky One arrival at Lindy, cleared localizer 27 approach. At Lindy, we're cleared for localizer 27 approach for NASA Such a clear day to you today. <laughs> Out the window, it's not quite as clear as this is showing, but it's actually pretty nice out there. 364, direction of flight runway 25, right taxi via Delta Kilo Bravo. All right, you want to taxi to two five right for via Delta Kilo Bravo for Delta three six zero. November four Delta Bravo contact LA Center one two five point eight. One two five point eight for Delta Bravo. Thank you. Number seven Charlie Zulu wind one four zero one one runway one. Taxi via Alpha. Three five left via Alpha five Romeo with you. LA Center, Skyhawk 734 Delta Bravo with you through 4000 to Santa Barbara. 734 Delta Bravo, Los Angeles Center, welcome aboard. Camry Altimeter 2987. 2987 for Delta Bravo. Los Angeles Center, American 1808, we're on the ground here in Vegas looking for clearance up to Phoenix. So anybody who doesn't know, we're over uh, Agora Hills here right now, Westlake Village, Santa Monica Mountains out here on the left, and the, the ocean beyond that. On the right, Simi Hills, and uh, I forget what the taller range back there is, uh, is called. <clears throat> Directly ahead of us, Camarillo, Oxnard, and onward. We're now coming up on our cruise altitude 4,500, so, so it's start getting ready to level altitude. off. Uh, four, climbing 4,400 for 13,000. That's 1,276 altitude checks. Climb unrestricted, flight level 190. Uh, climb flight level 190, southwest 1,276. United 587, Lima Airspace Northeast, radio service terminated, frequency change approved, Denver Center offline, switch to advisory now, 122.8, we'll see ya. 122, just mind, uh, thank you, and bye-bye, United 587. So now I'm just letting the speed come up, once it does, I'll manually trim, try not to use autopilot today. 77, push and start your discretion, advisory taxi, and expect uh, one ride at Bravo for departure information, India current. Mostly because I've never flown a Cessna with a working autopilot in real life, so why fake it? Delta 288, what's your airspeed? Max point eight, Delta 228. Negative, what's your indicated airspeed? 325. Delta 228, slow to 280 knots. 280 knots, Delta 228. Delta 53 Whiskey, what's your indicated airspeed? Indicated 283, Delta 53 Whiskey. Say again? Indicated airspeed 283, Delta 53 Whiskey. Delta 53 Whiskey, copy, thank you. Delta 41 Echo, upon reaching 280 knots, maintain indicated airspeed 280 knots. 
Okay, so I understand correctly when approaching a 280 knots, maintain, indica maintain 280. That is correct. Okay. These guys quieted down oh, a little bit. I don't know how it is for you, but they're way loud for me. 704 Tango Zulu, Los Angeles Center, go ahead. Can I get flight following? That's a little better. No, uh, November uh, 704 Tango Zulu. Uh, you somewhere between Palm Springs and uh, Riverside, is that correct? Affirmative. Okay, give uh, SoCal a ca uh, call for uh, flight following. He's on 124.5. 124.5, 704, take a zoo. Los Angeles, Center 3, take a mic, clear the runway, and we're canceling at IFR at this time. No, 3 8, Tango Mike, IFR cancellation received 2120 Zulu. Thanks for flying. Come back and see us. Take care. Uh, question for you. Are we advised to always cancel an IFR flight plan after landing? Oh, you are required to cancel an IFR flight plan at an uncontrolled field. If you are flying into a towered field, yeah, your IFR uh, flight plan is automatically canceled. So just remember when you're going to an uh, uncontrolled field like St. George where there's no tower, then you need to call us so that we can cancel it. Otherwise, we have no idea that you landed and... Uh, you really don't want us to send search and rescue looking for you. What about if there's nobody on that frequency or you're, you've been uh, advised to transfer to advisory frequency? Well, what is it? that's why I said to you to uh, switch to I love that this guy can, is taking the time to help him out. On this frequency, canceling IFR or landing assured. And that's why you need to switch, you know, you basically you go to advisory to the uncontrolled field to let other aircraft in the pattern know that you're there. Then once you've landed, then you need to switch back to my frequency and, uh, and uh, cancel it. In real life, sometimes once you've landed, you can't even reach the, uh, the controller, depending on where... Got to call them on the phone. Uh, you can't even reach them on the radio. Then you'll have to call on a landline to uh, cancel IFR, but you're required to cancel IFR to an uncontrolled field. Thanks for the info. Appreciate it. Three so for any of you that are nervous about... Uh, oh, this guy's got a lot to say. I'll wait. And we uh, give you that information to, uh, to switch to advisory and give us a call uh, canceling IFR or landing assured. You could say, at that point, you could say, well, I want to cancel IFR right now. Because you have the field in sight. You're going to land. You can see it. And then uh, we will cancel it while you're still on the descent, and then you don't have to call us once you land. I got her. Thanks for the help. Have a good day. <laughs> All right. See you later. Take care. So to any of you guys that end up watching this later that uh, think that the flying VAT sim is intimidating, uh, that's actually a pretty typical level of helpfulness. These guys want you to, to be good. They want you to have fun. And they want you to learn how aviation works. So it's actually, it's pretty cool. Obviously, when they're up to their ears and, and chatter, they can't do that. But American 420, Los Angeles Center. Climbing team level 300. Some of them are real controllers, too. So they, some of them are completely not. So you get varying levels of, uh, of skill, you know, as you fly different places. But most of the center controllers have been around for a while and they know what they're doing. 4207 Los Angeles Center Raider, um, climb maintain flight level 350. 350, that's 4207. Delphi 3 Whiskey, contact SoCal approach, 124.5. Glad you're enjoying it there, Fab. Del 228, delete the speed restrictions. So down here in the corner, this is uh, Camarillo. Los Angeles Center, Citation 7, Charlie Zulu, climbing through flight level 250 for 380. Great little airfield, good restaurant, renowned for their waffles in the morning. It's also a, uh, also a commemorative Air Force Museum there. It's very cool. Contact, so disregard. Stay with me. Delta 41 Echo, delete speed restrictions. Okay. Delete uh, speed restriction, uh, 41 Echo. 
Los Angeles Center, Janet 57, uh, flight level 190. Jenna 57, Los Angeles Center, Squawk 7333. 7333, Jenna 57. Delta 228, contact SoCal Approach 124.5. 124.5, one, yeah. Fab, say if you're a uh, flight sim pilot, uh, I might later this afternoon be doing another one of these. I'll do a IFR flight um, in the Citation Jet. Which is also a lot of fun to do. But I like doing the little planes because it's what I really flew. So. Echo Contact, SoCal Approach, 124.5. 124.5, Delta 41 Echo. Yeah, 2114, descend via the Iron Man 2 arrival, second time. Right here. Now my altitude's drifting a little bit here, so I've added a just a bit of throttle. Hopefully, straighten that out. Probably lean this thing a bit. Jet 57 air contact three three miles northwest of the uh, Las Vegas VOR. Information India current. Send you the Jason one arrival. Radar contact confirmed to send via the Jason 1, and I do have India for base, Janet 57. Janet 57, expect one left. Uh, well, your choice, uh, ILS 1 left or RNAV 1 right. ILS 1 left, Janet 57. So again, Camarillo there. That's Point Magoo off on the shoreline over there. And, so the and Oxnard is over here. That's 1276, climb maintain level 350. 101 freeway runs right along here and is a great reference for when you're flying uh, up to Santa Barbara. American 1808 runway uh, 8 left at uh, Delta, taxi west on Bravo and left on Delta, hold short at 8 left. The arrow is perfect. If you haven't had a chance to fly one in real life, it's insane how close they got with that model. Oh, sorry, I didn't get to use it, but it, I don't know if you were, if you were here for that part, but it saves your status when you shut down, and I left the master switch on, drained the battery, <laughs> so I was sitting there trying to start it, and it, it just wasn't having it, so I ended up switching over to the 172. I'm not... 977, runway uh, 26 right, taxi via Bravo. Uh, we, can, we can still give you one uh, zero one right. Go ahead and taxi. Yeah, I clicked it a couple of times and nothing happened. So, and I didn't want to spend a whole stream sitting around fiddling with the plane, so I just decided to bring this one instead. But I'll get it sorted out and I'll get it out on another flight one of these days. Yeah, it might. Copy, thank you. I really like that plane in VR too. It's amazing. Absolutely great. Uh, Plata Senpai of Romeo Whiskey. Had to bring up the wind there. RNAV tight. Wind is 330 at 7. Runway 35 left. Clear for takeoff. RNAV kite. Runway 35 left. Clear for takeoff. Five Romeo Whiskey. <laughs> LA Center Delta Five Nine will come out of eight thousand on the clipper. Delta Five uh, Ninety One, Los Angeles Center. Welcome aboard. Climb and maintain flight level two nine zero. Air flight level two nine zero, Delta Five Nine One. Hey, no problem. Smile. Thanks for joining. We are, uh, I don't know how long you've been around, but we're heading up to Santa Barbara from Van Nuys. We're just passing over. Seven contact SoCal Approach, 124.5, we'll see you. Passing over Ventura right now. So about halfway there. World famous burger run if you live in Southern California. And Los Angeles 
Center, American 1808, ready to go at 26 right, Vegas. <laughs> Oops. I can't get. I can't get the Microsoft 747 to behave, so I, I don't use it. I've been flying the A320 with the fly-by-wire. Uh, that works nice. I really like that one. But about two, three weeks ago, I got the. I finally downloaded the uh, the working title mods for the CJ, and it just made that plane so fun. I really like it. Yeah, it is almost too easy. That thing just... Even when you're hand-flying it, just because the way the fly-by-wire systems work, it's just nothing to it. But yeah, if you don't already have it, the CJ uh, mods for the... Uh, by, by uh, working title are really, really good. It makes that plane just really great. But it doesn't have auto throttle, so you gotta, you know, you've got work to do. It's yeah, not not so easy. Copa 977, ready for takeoff, zero, one right, Bravo. Copa 977, RNAP, Bessie, wind calm, runway one right at Bravo, clear for takeoff. Thanks for the follow, man. Hopefully I'll get more active. I had a pretty quiet month or two here and haven't been streaming much, but um, I've been flying a lot since I started doing VATSIM. It's really kind of hooked me. I've been having a lot of fun with it, so I've been flying more, and I decided, well, I should start streaming this stuff because it's way better than just watching a guy fly around, you know, in a silent airplane. Okay, you have the chart in front of you? Thank you. Just got to start coming up with interesting places to go, you know? Yes, sir, I have the chart in front of Okay, look at, uh, look at the, just follow the line after departure. The first waypoint that you see is Bessie. That's Bravo, Echo, Sierra, Sierra, Yankee. Got it, sir, got it. Okay, it's on the departure, got it, sir. Yeah, we just tell you RNAV to that first waypoint. That way you and I both know where you're supposed to be going. I'll also be doing, if you're into it, I also do some iRacing stuff. Um, there you go. Haven't, 4208, uh, cross goal, fly level 250. Since the racing seasons are just getting started back up again in the real world, I'm starting to get the itch to do some of that, too. During the winter when nobody's racing, it's kind of it's easy to lose interest in uh, in sim racing. with you just passing through 8,000, climbing via the sit out of Vegas. American 1808 radar contact. I'm running uh, this is a 9th gen uh, i7 CPU and uh, uh, 2070 uh, G, uh, RTX. And actually, you're getting it down sampled. It's running in full 4K on my main screen. Enterfly 2165, pre parch clearance sent. Foxtrot Oscar, Zulu Romeo Kilo, contact Oakland Center, 132.20, we'll see ya. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, if you read around on the forums, there's, uh, there's a good thread about uh, how to optimize an RTX. It's actually, I think he's got it titled as an RTX 3070, but a lot of the settings, a lot of the settings will benefit the 2070s too, or, uh, if you've got one. Ah, uh, come back, see us, that's what we like to see. So it's it's not totally maxed out, but it's it's pretty good. Nine nine five descend via the Hollywood <laughs> on arrival. 
Yeah, right now with the way the video card prices are, there's no hope of moving up either. I've had this card for a couple of years, so I was looking to upgrade and I saw the prices right now. I was just like, no way. Yeah, uh, give me a, uh, five minutes is okay. Make sure you do, you're still east of Seaview. I need to get you off to uh, SoCal. Copy that, uh, uh, east of Seaview for Fresh and Refined. Yeah, but give your, make sure you give, a, give us a little more time so we can get the handoff and then he can give you the clearance at Seaview. Copy that, copy that, got you. Thanks. I think with Microsoft uh, with Microsoft Flight Simulator, the memory helps quite a lot too. So I've got 32 gigs in here, which I, I know it allows it to just keep a little bit more scenery and stuff in memory. So it doesn't. I don't get too many real uh, jerky Mario, things. Actually, go ahead and climb maintain for level 240. I'm just basically watching for crossing traffic. Sometimes up around, or if I get down into into downtown Los Angeles or really built up areas, it gets yeah, a little a little slow. Top altitude, just so you at least knew where to go. Jenna 57, wind calm, runway one left, clear to land. Clear to land, runway one left, Jenna. Ooh, picked up quite a breeze Number there. 977, radar contact, climb unrestricted, flight level 280. Climb unrestricted, 280, four five nine seven seven. It's like a little bit of haze up here in Santa Barbara. I'm going to give them to. I'm going to give you to them now. Jet test uh, 235, contact Oakland Center 132.20. We'll see ya. Welcome to Oakland Center, 132.20. Thank you for your service. It was a great flight with you. All right, come back to this. Station 317, Charlie Zulu, contact Oakland Center, 132.20. All right, over to Oakland, um, 322. Uh, thanks for service. Citation 7, Charlie Zulu. Skylock 4, Delta, Bravo, Santa Barbara, altimeter 2988. Uh, 2988 for 4, Delta, Bravo. Thank you. And uh, Skyhawk uh, 4 Delta Bravo, expect straight in runway 25. Straight in on 25 for 4 Delta Bravo. That is an unusual call for Santa Barbara. Normally, if you fly in here, um, there's two small crossing runways that run, uh, I believe they're uh, 15 or 19, I can't recall. Um, and most of the time they put you on that, and it's kind of a fun visual approach. I was hoping they'd give it to me. Actually, maybe I'll ask him for it. Get that chart up and see uh, what that runway number is, because I really prefer... Uh, it's just more fun. That big runway is just silly for us little planes. That's twelve seventy six. Lee my airspace east. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Albuquerque is sending offline. One five. Okay. Point eight. Have a good flight. Uh, switch to the battery. One to two. Display for Southwest twelve seven six. Thanks for your help. Take care. Center Skyhawk uh, 734 Delta Bravo, can I request uh, one of the 15s at Santa Barbara? Yeah, it'll be a nice crosswind for you if you want to take it. The winds are currently 240 at 11. I'll do that, we'll take it. 734 Delta Bravo. You want 25 or you want the 15 uh, left approach? Let's do 15 uh, left. Uh, good practice for you. Uh, okay. Expect uh, one five left, and we'll uh, give you a point out here shortly. Roger for Delta Bravo. LA Center Delta three six zero at five, uh, fifteen thousand for seventeen thousand. Delta three sixty Los Angeles Center. Welcome aboard. Climb maintain for level three five zero. Climb maintain three five zero. Next three uh, I didn't know about that freebie. Nice to know, man. Thanks. Oh, wait, you're talking about the... Okay. I thought you were telling me that... <laughs> I didn't see that 737 Max had joined the channel. I thought you told me that you got a 737 Max on Game Pass. I was like, what? Awesome! <laughs> uh, welcome along, 737. Skyhawk 
for Delta Bravo. The airport sets your 11 o'clock, 17 miles, port in sight. Four Delta Bravo, I have the airport in sight. That's nice guy for Delta Bravo. Make a uh, left a base for only one five left. Left base, one five left, thank you. Four Delta Bravo. Screwed up my call. This guy gets so informal sometimes I forget that I have to do all the regular, or I'm supposed to do all the regular stuff. So I'm starting my descent now. Um, normally they would bring you down to uh, 2,000 feet or so through here, 2,500 feet. Have you overfly the city. This is, um, if you can see my cursor there, Santa Barbara in general is kind of here. So they have you follow the freeway, which you can kind of see winding along through the hills here. And then it goes on around this little mound, and just beyond that is the airport. I don't actually have it in sight right now, but I didn't want him worrying about trying to vector me in, so I know where it's at. I don't need his help, so I figured we'll just tell him I had it in sight and be done with it. Let him get on with other things. Come on, 977, approved as requested. Let me know you're back. Center, Cash and Answer is back in copy. 995, copy. Right? <laughs> Free 737 Max, that would be a pretty nice treat. As long as it's done well, you know? I was really surprised that uh, Microsoft didn't open with a 737 in the in the planes at all. I mean, no better than they did with the default airliners. I guess it's best that they left it out, but Microsoft always had something like that in there, you know? I mean, I guess the Airbus was meant to take its place, and with Asoba being French, I guess that makes sense, but I don't know, man. Down here where this little pond is, that's the Santa Barbara Zoo, or near it. I think the zoo is actually off the end here. And normally, as you fly the approach here, you can't. It's not rendered properly in Microsoft Flight Sim. You see these couple dots offshore. That would be the Sa Santa Barbara Pier in real life. Ten fifty-seven. Taxi to parking. Monitor this frequency. Thanks for flying. Thanks for the great ATC. Taxi to parking. Janet fifty-seven. And uh, it's a call-out point when you're making the approach. They usually will have you run along the highway, uh, doing your descent like we're doing now, and then. Uh, Report a beam the uh, the pier there, which gives them the clue that you're getting in close, and they need to start thinking about shuffling you in for landing. Set speed 50, red check <laughs> five two miles east of the Mormon Mesa VOR. Send via the Angel Four arrival. Send to the Angel Four arrival. Yeah, there's some of the stuff that Flight Sim does pretty well with the scenery. Um, Sometimes it, the trees are in some places are really big. I got a mod that gets the size of the vegetation in general down to something reasonable, and then I wrote one myself to um, just thin out the vegetation in Southern California because I mean it looked like Vietnam, you know, I mean, it was just this dense forest, and there's it's not like that in Southern California. Come on, so uh, I, I dialed back the the vegetation by. Like sixty percent, and it looks a lot better. But I don't think this area up here in Santa Barbara is in that same kind of biome. Uh, I don't know exactly Delta how far it goes. Delta Bravo, oh. the wind two four zero at one one runway one five left, clear to land. One five left, clear to land for Delta Bravo. Thank you. Flight 2165, runway 26 right, taxi via Bravo. 26 right via Bravo. All right, we're cleared to land, so in effect, we're kind of out of the regular VFR flight uh, you know, altitude rules. So I'm going to take it down to about 2,000 for the remainder here. Um, come down lower. The airport's right on the shoreline, so it's basically zero feet. So patterns, you know, roughly 1,000. So we'll just keep on going down to that. Airport's becoming visible right over here. And our runways are running this way. 
he was saying 11 knot crosswind, which I've done there lots of times in real life. We'll see how Flight Sim wants to deal with it. Increase my descent a little bit here because. Yeah, we're making 110 knots. Going to slow it back down here a bit to about 100 for now. No, 977, copy. Thank you. To send you the Angel 4 arrival. Angel 4 arrival. Can you tell me what's the runway at the LAX? Uh, SoCal will give you that information. I don't I don't have that information. Roger that, sir. Angel 4 One of the things that was always fu so fun about flying into Santa Barbara is that the, the tower, the, the approach controllers there take themselves pretty seriously. So they, they, they keep you on your toes if you're not doing everything just exactly the way they want it in real life. They just jump all over you. And it's good. I mean, it's frustrating because sometimes you feel like they're just being dirtbags, but, uh, you know, it makes you a better pilot. Guy sign 995, contact SoCal Approach 124.5. 124.5 for cash and uh, thank you. See ya. Widen out a little bit here toward the hills. You really can't go too far over here because these hills, right, the ground rises uh, on the right hand side there quite a lot. And so, in order to maintain kind of a thousand feet above, uh, above the homes and stuff, you gotta just kind of manage it a little bit. So find anyone to send you the rounders one arrival. Yeah. Expect ILS runway two six left approach. I was always oh, home based out of Van Nuys for all my Southern California flying and Van Nuys Airport is it's busy but there's they're pretty casual uh, tower crew over there and you know, always really nice. And then you come up to Santa Barbara and they're just they're like dealing with LAX. I mean they're so <laughs> so strict and so busy. The thing is, they're not anywhere near as busy as Burbank, though, and Burbank Tower is a lot more casual than Santa Barbara, at least it was when I was flying. All right, how are we looking here? Airport's disappearing on the... Go ahead and put one notch of flaps in. We're a little slower than we need to be for, at this point, but it's all good. Just add a little bit. Here we'll call again. Southwest 4472, we're at 13,000. That's 4472, Los Angeles Center, welcome aboard. Claim, maintain, below 360. Under 360, Southwest 4472. Frontier 2165, 26 right, ready for departure. One thing I like about when I'm in VR is when something's behind this pillar here, I can move my head easily and see around it. Under flight 2165, Arnav, Ru Arnav Rudy, wind is calm, runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. I had this flight instructor that flew me up here one time, and he was just a real, he wanted you to believe everything was so much worse than it was, and he was telling me, you better get this read back correct, because we were getting ready to leave out of here, and it's a class Charlie, you know, and he's like, better make sure you get that read back correct, or they'll have you violated and, uh, and call the tower. I'm like, they're not going to violate me on a bad read back, they're going to correct the read back, come on. No, they'll they'll violate. No, they won't. <laughs> this guy was such a jerk. American four twenty contact Oakland Center one three two point two zero. We'll see ya. All right, so we basically got our seventy knots in here for our approach. We're just it's kind of hard to see one five left when you're getting set up here uh, in the sim, just because like I was talking about that darn pillar gets in your way. So we're going to kind of come in here at a funny angle. Get another notch of flaps coming in.
Alaska 1116 in Los Angeles Center. A little bit high. It'll work out though. I'll give it a little slip as we come down. A lot of slip as we come down. Let's go 1116 to send you the cocktail one arrival. Oh, in real life, I'd go around on this one, but it's the same. We'll make it work. To send via the cocktail one arrival and expect. Hunter Flight 2165, radar contact, say altitude. Not down yet, come on. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, turn. Okay. Landed almost at a complete stop there. 404, Los Angeles Center, welcome aboard. Climb maintain level 310. 310, Flavid 404. Skyhawk 734 Delta Bravo, welcome to Santa Barbara exit left, taxi to parking. Thanks for flying. Thanks for your help today. Have a good one. 74 Delta Bravo. All right, see you. American 1808, leaving my airspace to the east. Radar service terminated. Frequency change approved. Conference center's offline. Switch to advisor 122.8. We'll see you. Yeah, we'll go over to advisory 122.8 for American 1808. We'll see you. We'll just hang it up here. Radar contact, say altitude. 1,100 climbing, Turn off the radio, because we don't need to talk to them anymore. And get the avionics shut off. Stroke off, nav's off, landing light's off, beacon stays on for now. All the other switches should be down. Lean it, and it dies. And then the stupid menu pops up every time. And then beacon off, ignition off, everything else off. There we go. So thank you guys for riding along. Um, yeah, it floats like crazy, man. Um, but I was a little high coming in. It, I, it, it's hard to judge this one because when you're trying to make the turn, and like I was saying with that pillar in the way, you can't tell where the airport is. And so I, this is the second or third time I've ended up a little high on that approach. But whatever, it makes it fun. And... Uh, at least it does do a good forward slip. You saw how, how dramatically I was able to just steer it off to the side and really just drive it on down. So it, it did fine. But, uh, thanks for joining me on this one. I might later today do a ILS in the CJ. Um, so if you're around, I'd probably be a few hours before I get around to that. But um, otherwise, you know, maybe tomorrow or on the weekend. So if we see you guys again, that'd be great. And that's it for now. Take care. The left-handed salute for nerds, right?